If portability is just as important as maintaining consistent high speed when it comes to external storage devices, the Dekoki SSD enclosure with its unique active cooling could be exactly what you need. The biggest selling point for drives like these are not only the data transfer speeds but also their size. They're tiny, and that's all down to the compatibility with the smaller size 2230 NVMe SSD drives. While this isn't the only 2230 sized external enclosure on the market, the Dekoki also incorporates a built-in cooling fan as well as LED lighting too, although we'll see how these perform shortly. The drive itself comes wrapped in this silicon cover, complete with a loop attachment point at one end. Although this does provide good levels of protection while being stored or transported, it is a little fidgety to remove or install though, so something I'm not sure I'd use too often in my own workflow, but it's a nice addition nonetheless. Saying that, even outside of the protective silicon wrap, a metal cap at one end protects the USB-C connector from knocks and bumps, and it's magnetically held in place making attaching and removing it a very simple task. The magnet holds quite well too, with two protruding feet helping to line up as the magnet locks into place. A neat little addition that works rather well. The drive itself doesn't take up too much room at all, being just 50mm on its longest side and weighs just 33 grams, so size and weight are really not an issue. With a metal construction, which is great for passive heat dissipation, while there's not really much to see on the bottom side, the top has an acrylic window that gives you a good look at the circuitry inside, as well as the 15,000 RPM cooling fan that's nestled neatly in the centre, helping to keep the internals, as well as the SSD itself, cool during use, considering SSDs can get rather hot during data transfer. In such cases, there's no doubt that active cooling solutions like this do make a big difference. Tiny venting holes just above the fan act as an exhaust, so air is drawn in from the holes on the side and pushed through the top holes, which seems like a good enough solution. Although active cooling does mean the fan will be audible when the drive is in use. More on that shortly. The single USB-C connector works over the USB 3.2 Gen 2 standard, so provides a full 10 gigabits per second bandwidth, meaning high speed data transfer while in use. What's different here is we get an actual male connector rather than a socket like we would in other SSD enclosures, meaning the drive can plug directly into the host device without the need for any cables. Although saying that, if the surface area alongside the connector is too large, a short USB-C extension cable is included in the package and can be attached to the drive, providing the ability to connect to a host with a smaller footprint. Otherwise, there's not much more to see here. While not in use, we can pop on that magnetic cap and even add the silicon sleeve if you can be bothered to fiddle with it, that is. But overall, construction quality is superb. Nothing to fault there. It feels solid in the hand with no imperfections to be found. When it comes to drive installation, we have a completely tool-free process, which works by simply sliding the bottom panel to one side, providing access to the internals. That's literally it. Nice and easy. Here we find the main internal circuitry, complete with an RTL 9210B chipset underneath, and the NVMe M.2 connector, where we can slide in a 2230 drive straight in, up to 2TB in capacity being supported, and secure into position using the pre-installed rubber grommet on the opposite end. That leaves just the cover, which slides back on and is held in place magnetically, a nice little touch after which we're pretty much set to go, a really nice and simple installation procedure. Using the drive is just as easy, because of the USB-C connectivity you can use the drive with just about any device, be it computer, tablet, even a smartphone. Simply connect to your host device, I like to ensure the fan is pointing upwards when using with a laptop so that there's plenty of airflow space on all sides. A minor annoyance to note is when unplugging, care must be taken to grip the port end of the drive, as otherwise you'll end up sliding the cover away. Gamers will appreciate the LED lighting that springs to life when the drive is active too. I'm not usually one for lights like this, I don't really see the point, but it actually looks quite nice and subtle in this case. It'll just generally pulse through a couple of colours, and the pulsing doesn't change with drive activity either, it's just fixed in this one gentle setting. 
More importantly though, a disc speed test shows some respectable speeds falling in line with much of the competition, with the bottleneck here being the interface, although this is pretty much at the top end of what we can expect from USB 3.2 Gen 2, so I'm quite happy with the results. Equally as impressive are file transfers, which are also quick, again nothing to be concerned about here. What's more important is sustaining that speed over longer periods of use though, when the SSD inside really does heat up, and thankfully that active cooling fan does seem to be doing its job there too. Even while using the drive for long periods of time, it continued to sustain its performance with no noticeable drops and no throttling. Of course, because of that 15,000 RPM fan, noise can be an issue. It's clearly noticeable when using with my completely silent MacBook for instance, and I found that once connected and powered, the fan stays on throughout the session. It didn't ramp down or switch off when the drive is not actively in use. Although saying that, this is a pre-production unit, so this could be something that can be tweaked with a firmware update. I certainly do hope it's implemented. On the flip side, when used alongside a handheld console for instance, where you have separate audio playing, it's not so noticeable. Not a deal breaker, but a point to bear in mind, and something you'd have to expect from any actively cooled device. A final point to note are two switches that can be found on the inside of the drive. The first can be toggled to completely switch off the LED lighting, so if you do find this annoying and do not want any lighting at all, it's easy enough to switch the feature off completely. The second switch places the drive into a read-only mode. Data can be read, but not written to the drive. This not only helps safeguard your data from any accidental deletion, it also means you can move the drive around between hosts and not worry about any malware or virus infection either. Now I would have preferred the switches to be externally accessible, but saying that, the tool-free magnetic sliding cover means they're still easy enough to access and operate in their current position too, coupled with the fact that these are features you'd probably toggle once in a while rather than consistently in the first instance. In summary then, throughout use the Dekoki SSD enclosure has worked flawlessly across a wide variety of devices thanks to its standard USB-C interface and performs equally as well with its USB 3.2 Gen 2 speeds. No issue there at all, and the LED lighting is subtle and adds a nice feature while using the drive, although it can be easily switched off should it not be to your liking. Overall, build quality and finish are superb. The USB-C magnetic cap is a nice addition that works perfectly well too. There's really very little not to like here, well until you start using the drive that is. The noise level during operation is the main complaint, a consequence of its cooling mechanism, and this may be a deciding factor for users who prefer to work in quieter settings. It's just part of the parcel with active cooling though, and if you want sustained high speed transfer, then it's something you need to get used to. Also note its compatibility exclusively with 2230 sized SSDs, which may also be a limiting factor, restricting its use to those who have or are willing to invest in this specific SSD type, although saying that, it's what makes the entire drive so compact and portable in the first instance. I do look forward to how Dekoki continue to develop the drive though, I'm specifically referring to a docking hub that's already in the works, which will allow you to dock three of these drives simultaneously for seamless expansion. Considering each drive supports up to two terabytes in capacity, that will provide six terabytes in total across three docked drives, all through a single direct connection. As it stands though, this is a great portable drive that performed flawlessly throughout testing and daily usage. As long as you can see past the fan noise, if you're after a small portable drive, this is certainly worth a look.